Dr. Deck, thank you very much for the update today on vaccinations. The YWCA is building a virtual house with your support through the month of June. The Raising Up Homelessness campaign sells virtual bricks in an effort to raise $10,000 this month to support women and families facing homelessness in Niagara. Elizabeth Zimmerman, a single donation took you halfway to your goal immediately. Yes, we have a very fortunate Empire Homes has been our lead sponsor for this event. And uh, they started the campaign with $5,000. So we're very grateful uh, to them for their uh, commitment to the community and to ensuring that women have the services that they need. And you can watch the house grow in a sense on the website. And I mean, this is an event that we had in person. Uh, we were, have worked closely with Seaway Mall in the past and held it in uh, Seaway Mall. However, of course, in, in our current circumstances, that's not possible. So this has been uh, working along with Empire Homes. This has been a great way of still encouraging the community to understand, you know, that there are people who are living in our communities that don't have a home to go to and the need to support organizations that help support those individuals. And certainly we're looking for the community to support our work in shelters and housing. As the campaign wraps up on June 30th, you have a special event online planned? That's correct. For anybody who has uh, participated, we are having a panel discussion on um, what we're calling, we're naming it Fe Feminism, Affordable Housing and the Real Estate Market. And we have some very interesting panelists. So we were excited about who we're presenting in the panel this year. It's Jeff Sinclair. He's the Housing and Homelessness Action Plan Advisor for the region of Niagara. Uh, Jenny Shakluna, who is the manager of housing programs with the Niagara Region Housing Services. Um, Liz Sue, she's the Aboriginal Healing and Wellness Co Coordinator with Niagara Regional Native Centre. And then Nadia Ali, board member with the Niagara Association of Realtors. So it should be a really interesting discussion. One of the things you're going to discuss on June 30th is the relationship between gender equity and housing. Can you explain that? Yeah, I think that um, often we we don't recognize that women's experiences of homelessness are quite different, particularly if they're women-led households. And uh, so we're putting a gender lens on this conversation and talking about it on how women experience everything from the potential of home ownership to you know what their experience of homelessness is, how what kind of services that we can. Uh, they can interact. Um, so, you know, talking about those barriers and barriers for women of color or indigenous women and um, how we can play a role as, you know, uh, the Niagara community in uh, supporting women and supporting their access to housing in their unique needs. Elizabeth, one of the things you will focus on in that June 30th event is the impact of homelessness on the entire Niagara region. That's right. We are a regional organization. We support, we have housing programs across the region. And uh, even though our shelters are located in St. Catharines and Niagara Falls, we still serve women and families from all over the region. And also looking at some possible solutions. Is one of those solutions building more space that has to be part of it? Absolutely. I think, you know, to address the issues that we're facing right now in terms of access to housing, it has to be a cross range of all kinds of different solutions of which one is building new affordable housing units. Um, you know, what are we going to do about the rental market and access to affordable rents? Um, all those pieces are an important part of, uh, of solving the issues that we're facing right now around access to housing. Elizabeth, thanks for your time today. Good luck on Thank reaching you. that goal of $10,000. And buhnagra.ca is the website to donate for information and to find out more about the June 30th event. Thanks again.